Everybody's beating their feet to that University of Go-Go. The number one online source for Go-Go PA tapes, CDs, videos, and DVDs. What's up? This is Mo Red. Mo and Mike from Red Door Entertainment. We had the Battle of the Beast basketball tournament. Look out for that Go-Go Live 2003 DVD from the DC Armory, Backyard, Royal Emmys, TCB, and Uncalled For. Dropping on the 20th of May. Don't miss it. It's off the roof. Peace and love. Rico, singer for Fatal Attraction. Wayne, the lead mic from Fatal Attraction. Right here outside of Oxy Hill Middle School, putting it down. Yeah. Uh, fellas, tell us, describe your style. Describe Fatal Attraction style. Unique, original, one of a kind. Different. Good. Dancing, partying, you know what I'm saying? Just us. Smooth. As, <laughs> as, as an up and coming band, what kind of uh, obstacles have you guys came across of, and how do you try to overcome? <sighs> Man, we done went from struggling to get a show to, you know what I'm saying, getting shows easily to, you know, people calling. Um, it's not easy. If that's, it's definitely not easy. It's kind of hard to keep the kids moving and the people moving. Not just the kids, but, you know, it's kind of hard to keep them moving sometimes. You got to figure out your format and get it all together. A lot of practice, a lot of hard work, a whole lot of hard work. The way we get through it, we just lay back, stay strong, stay uni unified and everything, and listen to our management team. We got a great number of people on our on our staff, on our team, that's just helping us, been helping us through a lot, give us good advice, and we just listen to them. And if anybody, I lose sleep off of this. If you don't lose sleep, then yeah, there's a problem. You're not doing something you just, right. You just need that. Not doing something right. Leave it alone. As uh, one of the leaders of the new, new, new school, uh, what do you see taking? Uh, what are y'all planning to take Gogo at the next couple, of, couple of years? Well, I, well, I wish we could take the Gogo all over the world. You yeah, know, it's I mean, all over the world. Yeah. But if we can't get there, we're gonna try to take it as far as we can take it here. But I'm, we, we striving for all over the world. I'm talking about all over the, the, the earth. Two thousand five. <laughs> Fatal Attraction, P. Diddy, World Tour, coming to a country near you. I'm telling you, this is how we do it. That's how we do it. No questions asked. All right, one last question. Uh, we know you got the uh, hot video, the hot DVD. DVD, go TV. get that. Um, how was it uh, doing that and being one of the, the bands after Chuck and Raw Image to have a DVD out? How y'all feel about that? Feel real good. I feel yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, we accomplished something. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel good about that. Bless, I definitely man. feel, yeah. I like one of the lucky ones for real. Right. Any last words for those out there in Google Land? Cranking ain't easy. Cranking ain't oh easy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my what? <laughs> we out. We out. Up, we in, and we out. Fatal Boys, baby. We need something to rely on. We be out on types of drugs. All we really need is love to give back. Just to give back. Just to give back.
so good to see uh, Birchwood come on out. Also, my man, man, Steph in the UPS. Hold it down, hold it, shy. Be up here doing a little something about Oxen Hill Middle, huh? Hey, Steph, what you flicking back there in the back, youngin? You stabbing weed melon, homie? Hey, Preston, you like this jump right here, baby? Uh-huh. Okay. Hold it down. Come on. This jump like a skitter skater or something right here. Hey, look, dude, I can't get off as fast as you need me to, you know what I'm saying? Get your man, get your man. Oh, now I'm a bitch. He's just like that nigga that tried to hit me in my man. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't let that bitch ass nigga. Back in the day, Go-Go started out as a party music, a fun music. It was just about having fun. All the lyrics were inclined to tell you about the good times people were having, the things they were doing at the show, at home, in the neighborhood, wherever. Then as music in general took a turn in the 80s with violence and all like that, everybody wanted to be hardcore. Go-Go started kind of following that trend just a little bit where a lot of the groups started thinking that they had to come off rough and tough and being hard. So they started putting this into their lyrics. And then that changed kind of the, the uh, content of a, a go-go performance in the sense that it became more rap-oriented versus uh, a freestyle of rap, which go-go originally started out just talking back and forth with the audience. It was a freestyle of rap. But with the advent of the rap becoming very popular in the mid-'80s, a lot of the go-go bands followed suit, and they started taking on the lyrics of the rappers, and they started intertwining that into the go-go uh, uh, performance. Nowadays, go-go performance is going back to its roots, which started out to be fun music, uh, very percussive, uh, not as much lyrical, but lyrically inclined, I should say. Uh, I love go-go. I don't know, it's something about the beat. It's just, I don't know, it's a vibe that you get going. You can't help but move to it. What would you do without go-go? No. Uh, listen to very little else. Not long, really. I mean, it's been long enough for me, but I don't go back to the old days like everybody else. I'm a new school. So, like, I don't know. I'm 21. Seven. Seven years, something like that. As a matter of fact, I listened to Chuck for my first time, maybe on 4th of July. The, at the tunnel pre fourth of July, my first time here in Chuck. Yeah, I had a ball. That people work make the world go round is my favorite.
Right, look here, we on the set, on the scene, with the, with the, with the queen of scene, the, the ripper on the zipper, <laughs> Miss Javon Smith, dynamite young, dynamite young designer, with a design wear called Designs by Joe. Some of you may have checked it out, but it's about to make a blast all over, and we got the exclusive right here. Miss Javon, right here. How you doing, sweetheart? Hey, Kato, I'm fine, yourself. I'm doing well now, you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. I want to talk a little bit about what you do, uh, the type of designs that you do. Um, how would you, how would you classify your designs? Basically, um, my my designs are more geared towards the urban couture. Um, I deal with a lot of different types of clothing. Um, I work with a lot of different looks, basically. Okay. I, I mean, I, I I notice your designs and stuff, and I see it's it's, it's kind of different. You know, this is the DC Maryland VA area. Got that flavor, but there's more flavor that you add to that. Explain that, you know. Well, basically, I'm originally from California. I've only been in the DC area for about a year now. Okay. A year and a couple of months. Um, I was born in London, so I've had the opportunity to travel throughout the country. Uh, military parents, of course. Okay. So I've been blessed with the opportunity to travel and, and see different cultures and see different communities, and I kind of incorporate that into my design. So when you see some all the ball type flavors, Basically, as you're designing yourself, do you incorporate music in general with what you're doing? Basically, me personally, music inspires me. So 
when I sit down at my sewing machine, I have to be, you know, listening to some Two Faced and Don or Kavaz or, you know, one of these hot females off of Judah and Shaw Entertainment and why, I'm sorry, why Entertainment female mixtape. So I like to incorporate music to that and music actually gives me some insight. I get my ideas from music and seeing different things and different types of music as well. Okay. Now one thing I'm going to honestly say that about this young girl that I'm very, very impressed by, no joke, is that this girl is 19 years old, seriously, and got her own thing going like that. I mean, the girl does some serious travel. I mean, t t let them know some of the places you've traveled with your show, you know what I'm saying? This is awesome, and 19 doing it fast. Basically, right now, we're doing a couple of, you know, DC shows right now, and, um, we're traveling out to New York, Connecticut. We did some stuff up in, uh, we got some stuff planned down in Atlantic City, so South Carolina, North Carolina, down VA, most definitely. So we're just keeping it moving right now, but this year, 2003 is my year, most definitely. Okay, anything new coming up? Well, what, what we have coming up, uh, Maximum Level, they're uh, all, they're, I'm sorry, they're Mother's Day Gay Lock. Um, we're going to shine on that. Okay. We got something real big, it's a secret, but real big, That's coming up in September. Also, I want to, while we're on here, say a little special happy birthday going out because she, although she's 19, she'll be 20 real soon. You know? May 2nd. May 2nd. May 2nd. She's a Taurus and she's a bull. <laughs> no, my, not she cool. <laughs> but dick. But I'm going to tell you something about, I've seen some of your stuff and, you know, the rip things you got. It was something that I thought was very interesting. Uh, there was a young lady who had a it was like a jean material, but it was, you know, worn up to, uh, I guess, a chest or whatever. Can you explain that one to me? I guess out of the many things you do besides your little, your little design, the way you write jokes. But um, this outfit, I just thought it stood out to you, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, you're talking about the, the denim top? Yeah. Okay. It's actually, basically, it's a, um, it's a denim piece, but up top. Basically, that, um, that idea actually came from a Brazilian uh, fashion design. Okay. It, it's totally different. And my, my design is original, don't get me wrong. Right, but right. the inspiration to do that piece is actually from a Brazilian design. Any kind of good critiques or comments you've received about regarding your design? Well, actually, thus far, yes, yeah, you know, some people have constructive criticism and others just have, you know, the beat parts. You know what I'm saying? I mean, regardless of what's going on, this is me, this is my life. Fashion and designing is what I do. This is what I'm good at. So, you judge me, you judge me. If you don't, you don't. Okay. So we just keep it moving. You're coming up in the, in the game right now. What's that? You're pretty young, but you've been in the game for a while. Yeah. Okay. Any inspiring words you want to say to somebody, especially a young woman as yourself, who's coming up in the game, whether it be designer, whether it be model, whether anything in that in, in that industry, any encouraging words that you think they would need to be doing taking care of? Let it be known. Basically, to all females, males, to everybody, if you have a dream, go after that dream. No matter what anyone says or what anyone does to step inside, to step in your way, just go and follow your dreams. You got to be true to yourself before you can be true to anyone else. So be easy and be real. All right. You being easy, you being real. I want to thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. Can I get a hug? Yeah, you oh can. <laughs> Look here. We can. We can ready to turn the page and flip the script and all that other good stuff and see what exactly what her designs look Wait, like. Wait, hold on. Well, let me give a shout out to my girl, Naila, one of the hottest makeup artists out there in DC right now. My production manager, Danielle Chisholm, and I can't forget my style is the one reason for this purple head. Nina, I love y'all. Be easy. And now you're going to see some clips from All right, let's turn that show. page right about now.
Yep. Uh, hello, my name is Poochie. Um, I'm the drummer of Crazy Praise. Um, we are here tonight at Elements uh, Center, uh, getting ready to have a gospel go-go fest with ABC, uh, God's Blend, and a couple of other gospel go-go bands. Um, we play every, also every Wednesday at Gospel Live. You can come and check us out. And uh, just come and check us out. Come, you know, worship the Lord with us. And we we'll always give you something to go home and think about spiritually. And we also try and do something to make you change your life around, because I did it. Yeah. So, so, so how, how did you make the transition from, uh, from secular go-go to worldly go-go to the gospel go-go? Well, with the gospel go-go, it's, you know, I did the worldly thing for us, the go-go-wise, but my spirit got uplifted by doing gospel go-go. And it also brought me closer and closer to the Lord and helped me realize that um, through my talents, I can worship the Lord doing something I like to do, which is playing go-go. So... That's how it came about with me. Okay, so how long have you been playing with Crazy Praise? Uh, well, it's been like a month now, and I just appreciate you know them giving me the opportunity to, to play, and then walking the footsteps of another guy like uh, Jam and Jeff. So appreciate the opportunity. So, where do you see Gospel Go Go going? Uh, well, it can go worldwide. You know, as long as we stay consistent, as long as we bring out a positive crowd and bring out the radio stations and promote it real good, I think that we can go worldwide. Where do you want it to go? Uh, yeah, I want it to go national. I want to be able to take these national, these little local acts, and uh, let them showcase and showcase their talents the same way uh, Crazy Praise is. So, I think we can do it. We just keep doing it and keep sending that positive message and let it get out there to people to hear it, like the radio stations. We can right do now, it. I'm, I'm going to go in here in the Element Center and uh, get ready to go praise the Lord and do what I do best, and that is play go -Go gospel and help fulfill and lift God's name. So come on and take a walk with me and see what we can do. See what you get some good footage of what we do best. <laughs> My name is Aspen, and my favorite band member is G, and my favorite band is Backyard. And G, I would like to ask you a question. How did you feel about being in the movie Divided City? Yeah, I'm returning this um, question you asked me, um, Aspen, about how I felt about being in the movie Divided City. But I felt good that they cast me, and I think I did good in it. And I hope to have more future film work coming. You know what I mean? I got some stuff coming up with some very important people. I want y'all to look for me. And I appreciate the love, and hope for you to be seeing me in more films coming up. And that's a lot of love from you, sweetheart. It's love. It's my little man right here. Future NBA, he want to be a police too. So I ain't gonna knock his thing. He want to be an officer. So that's, that's
that's, that's my line of work right there, being a father, a husband, you know what I'm saying, and an entertainer, and slash movie star, you know, slash actor. Just trying to get it on, put these The biggest thing that we're lacking here in Gogo -Go right now is the fact that we don't treat this as a business. We just treat it as something to do. And if we were to treat it as a business, we can go a lot further because we are involved with the music business. And my goal is to have the whole music business, the music industry, to recognize us as a genre of music. And then we will get our just due props. Uh, but right now, we're just going along day to day, performing, playing here and there, the different clubs, the different venues, the different schools. And it's just something for us to do. But to me, it's, it's not just something to do. This is my job, this is my livelihood, this is what I do for a living. And I want everybody else to look at it that way and respect it that way and make it that way for themselves. Because, hey, we can make a living at this because we are making a living at it. And we can help others help themselves to make a living at it. But we just have to set ourselves up, set the infrastructure up to do such and have the music industry to recognize us as a viable source of entertainment and a new genre of music. This kid over here standing outside this basketball tournament out here at Suitland High School. All of a sudden, I run into old school cat. This is my main nigga from way back. My main man, Boo. Go, go, Boo. Where's Woody and Marvin and Sean at, Boo? Oh, man, various places, man. Various places. Uh, uh, sad to say, one one of our members, uh, he's uh, dying uh, from, he's, he has AIDS. Uh, that's Sean. Uh, Woody, he's become a minister. Uh, and Marvin, he's, he's currently uh, incarcerated. But like, you know, we've been through a lot, and I'm glad to uh, be able to say myself, uh, I've been through a lot myself, and be able, to come, be able to come back full circle. I feel blessed to be able to be able to come up to things like this, uh, being coming 